Welcome to Crafty Christmas. With this craft, I am making an adorable snowman base. You are not going to want to miss out on this one. I got this idea from Pinterest and I will have the website where I found it linked down below in the description so you can check it out and you can see um, her details and the things that she used and the things that she did. I pretty much stuck close to her instructions. Um, I did have to change a couple of things because I couldn't find some of the items that she had used so I had to you know make up for it and figure it out and make my own. With this base, you can use it for a candle, you can use it to hold flowers, you can use it for your home, or you can have it as a gift to give away to somebody special. Let me show you how to make this snowman base. For this project, you are going to need a fish bowl vase, Epsom salt, white translucent glass paint or you could use decoupage. I got Mod Podge and the picture that it showed on Pinterest it was um, a specific kind with glitter and they didn't have that at our Michaels. Um, so what I ended up doing was grabbing glitter to add to the um, Epsom salt is what I'm going to do and just kind of mix it around so those will go on together. You need a foam brush. I grabbed two just to be safe. Spray acrylic or lacquer sealer and you want clear. Ribbon. Scissors, which I don't have setting out. Small buttons or decorative brads with the tabs trimmed off from the back if you use brads. And hot glue gun. I mix the Epsom salt and the glitter together in a bowl. I took a paper plate and poured Mod Podge onto the plate. I took the sponge brush and started putting the Mod Podge all over the vase. Then I started sprinkling the glitter and the Epsom salt all over the Mod Podge, but I did notice how quickly the Mod Podge started to set, so I had to work fast. Then I took a slim cup, or you could use a bottle, I carefully tipped it upside down and used a hair dryer to start drying the Mod Podge. I kept switching the hair dryer between cool and warm settings. Okay, as I am drying this, I'm seeing that there are patches that are more clear um, see-through than others. And so what I am doing is I'm going through and I'm touching those up with more of the Mod Podge and sprinkling some more of the Epsom salt and the glitter onto it and trying to fill in the real clear spots on it and then I continue to blow it with the hair dryer. Then I take my ribbon. I measure it to make sure that it is the right length before I cut it. On the ends, you want to cut into the ribbon to make it look more like a scarf. Then you want to take your hot glue gun and put some hot glue on the ribbon so that it will stick to the base.
Keep adding hot glue to wherever you want the ribbon to stay in place. Now you are going to take your buttons Make sure you know where you want them placed on the vase. Then add hot glue and stick them on. When you spray the vase with lacquer, make sure that you are in a well-vented area. I am placing the vase on the glass again to dry overnight. Got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy.